van is packed, almost time to go. Maggie's all ready to go. <laughs> A few hours into the trip, and we've made it through Charlotte, North Carolina, and we've just entered South Carolina. It is now up to uh, 46 degrees here in South Carolina, and we're running into a little bit of rain. But it beats being in the teens. Lynn's over here looking at an app called Drive Weather that one of our subscribers said we should check out. You can put your uh, where you are right now and your destination in, and it will check the weather on your route. We're going to be okay? Yeah, we're going to be good. It shows mostly overcast and then some clear skies and then in between when we get there. Awesome. And it's going to be 78 degrees when we get there, so you were right on that one. Advantage of traveling in the van is that you don't have to go in to use the restroom when you need to do that. And we needed diesel. Diesel here is 3.45 a gallon, so we waited until we got into South Carolina to get it. And it's about 15 cents per gallon cheaper than it was when we were where we were in North Carolina. So I think we now still have about I don't know three and a half hours left to go. Let's see. Let's find out. Starting route to Skipper's Fish Camp. Proceed uh, to Highway 200, then uh, turn left. Almost four hours. <laughs> four hours. Oh well. Wishful thinking. Been a long winter. I'm tired of this cold. It's dark when I get home. It's dark when I go. Here comes the parking lot. Almost made it out of South Carolina without it becoming a parking lot on Interstate 95. But... Welcome to Georgia. I need to feel sunshine. But it washed out my soul. It's been a long winter. And I'm tired of this cold. It's been a long winter. When will it end? Seems like a lifetime since the sun on my skin. Not sure what we're more excited about, getting to eat shrimp and being that good, or being able to be in shorts and t-shirts now. Both are really good, but we have another hour to go to get to Crooked River State Park on the very southern end of Georgia. Me to lay by an ocean Let it wash out my soul It's been a long winter And I'm tired of this cold The warmer days are coming soon, I know To wash away this gray and melt this snow Put a salt in the air Not the salt on the road It's been a long winter And I'm tired of this cold Made it here parked getting ready to do a little bit of setup we'll have to do a little bit more today than we normally do because we got to flush the tanks and everything because we did winterize a little before we uh left for this trip and we didn't get up uh, this morning and do that before we left because it was still too cold but if you look over my shoulder what a view that's the crooked river there it's the back of our site pretty awesome this will be camp for tonight. We're kind of happy about it. Maggie's getting all set up. She's got tails wagging and happy tails, happy tails. Thank you. 
One thing we realized when we got here, it's almost in the 80s. Something they have here besides this warm temperature and sunsets that we don't have back in the mountains in North Carolina, bugs. No see -ems. I've got a couple red places I've already been bitten. We had to remember to close the door on the van when we were setting up. Uh, back home, we didn't have to do that. We haven't had to do that for the last couple of months, but now we're down here where bugs, I guess bugs like coming down to Florida too. up at Mag. You didn't even have to. So we've been riding all day and if we want to do any hiking here at the Crooked River State Park we need to do it today because it's supposed to start raining in the morning. I'm not gonna do it again, are you? <laughs> Mommy's got a stick, Maggie. <laughs> what was that, Maggie? What was that, Maggie? Lynn's having way too much fun with this. We have figured out that it's a good way to get Maggie to walk in the middle of the trail. <laughs> she is not. She's not rolling. Well, she is going to go. There. Watch this. Here she goes. She won't stay long now. Well, we left to do a little stroll and ended up doing a hike and a stroll. About an hour and a half later, we're back at the van. Just in time. Just in time to watch the sunset. Awesome. I knew we had a really beautiful sight, and it is, but with very little wind, uh, no seams. We don't have those everywhere, but around the coastal areas, no see -ems. I guess it's just a generic name for a bug that bites you that you can't see. But we found some uh, spray last year when we were leaving Florida that takes care of that. And I'll wear it, but it has to be really bad before Lynn will wear it. Just all natural stuff, organic. Uh, says it has a pleasant smell. I guess people have different definitions of pleasant. Good morning, it rained like a mother last night here, uh, but it was still a good cool night to sleep. Uh, update on the bed, we got the sleep on latex mattress, the SOL mattress, uh, the two inch version and put over the bed. We both slept a lot better last night. Here Maggie is in here now. Hey, did you sleep well? She didn't sleep on the bed. We have this Keurig here, you know, and this is the first time you guys have seen this. We used to travel with this little uh, smaller 
Keurig knockoff that would work on the inverter in the Travato. The last few trips we've been on, we've had an AeroPress, and we love the way the coffee tastes. But to be quite honest, it's a lot to do in the morning. It's a lot of waiting. It's a lot of things you have to take with you. It takes a lot of water to both make the coffee and to clean up, and it's just a mess. And so we like things being simple and easy and easy and simple. This doesn't taste quite as good, but man, the cleanup is easy and it's so with this one, you just fill up your coffee cup to the level that you want it, and then you pour it into the reservoir. You can't fill it up and make several cups of coffee, which is kind of a pain, but hey, you got to compromise somewhere. Good morning. We woke up on this beautiful Georgia coastline in 60 degree weather. Wow. I know, it's beautiful out this morning, isn't it? It is. After the rainstorm, everything seems so clean and fresh. Yeah. Love that. First little chore I had to do was to add some water to the van. We we made it our first day with no water in there. And, eh, that makes it a little bit of a trick yeah, to, uh, to use brush your teeth yeah. and everything else. So uh, having water in the van is a good thing. And here I'll show you a little bit about what we have to do to make that happen. and there are tricks to doing everything you uh, try to accomplish in an RV. But inside of here, there's a place that you connect your water. Um, I like it and I don't like it. Uh, if there are bugs, it means you have to leave the back of your door open in order to fill up with water, which could mean to getting bugs in there. When you disconnect it, you're going to get a little bit of water that seeps down. I found that I can keep that from happening by keeping this little four-foot um, water hose in the back door and then whenever I'm going to fill up I connect that and the way I keep bugs and other things from getting into there without having to buy something extra I keep this little spray nozzle that we use when we uh, wash down outside connected to this so I've got this connected got this set to here I've got the Nautilus set so that I can do the power fill so we're going to fill the tank up now we're going to let it run for just a little longer than we need to so that it'll flush out some of the water that's been in there we did drain it but you just never know <laughs> hey hey sweetheart and here's the view that I have while I am uh, filling up the water tank in the van not a bad place to drink your coffee for sure so now the tank is full we'll let it run for about five minutes and do a little bit of overflow to wash out anything that's in there and then we'll be finished filling up the tanks that'll be awesome we do have another filter we use inside for any of the water we use for brushing our teeth or making coffee and you know if you don't get that right you can end up crapping through a screen door but if you do it right and you clean it and you keep it uh, sanitized we found that it's okay to drink out of it now you just reverse the process I always disconnect this end so water stands less of a chance of getting into the back of the van. You see that water there would be getting inside the van if I had not been smart enough to put this hose on. I'll let that finish draining. Wrap up the hoses. We'll be good for about three or four days when we're out on a trip because I'll take the end of this little nozzle and put it in that to keep water from coming out and to keep bugs mainly from getting in. And I'll leave this connected so the next time I need to put water in, this hose is already there and it's an easy process. Now the only thing I need to do is reverse this back to dry camping and I need to turn the water pump on. Many of you like it when we tell you a little bit about the places that we're visiting. So we're in the St. Mary's, Georgia area, and I guess it's most famous for the submarine base that is here. And so this state park is really interesting. It's not the biggest state park we've ever been to, but there's a lot here. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about this state park? 
Well, the state park is around 500 acres. It's absolutely beautiful. The, the campsites are really big and large. There's lots and lots of pull-throughs. I think it has two comfort stations. It has cottages. I think there's like four miles of trails Trail that you can walk on and ride on. Um, we have been here before, so we kind of know a little bit about it. It is just a one-night stop for us, but yeah. it, it's an awesome stop. So this is site 15. 15, 13, and 11 are probably the best sites at the park because you have that view back yeah, there. Yeah, the water. I'm really slow at drinking my coffee every morning. <laughs> I've done all these chores and I just now finished the last sip of coffee. So the next thing on the agenda before we decide what to do next is to take our little pup Maggie for a walk around the park. In true fashion for us, our walk around the campground ended up taking us down to the water which now ended up in a conversation of, I think we can walk to the boat launch. Do you want to go? Looks like we're going to go. <laughs> Serendipity. That's the way we like to travel. That's the way we like to do everything. So this is dangerous cliff, stay back. And you can see there used to be a road right here. So you can't go out there now, but you used to could. You okay? Mm. Oh goodness. Mm. Oh sweetheart. Who <laughs> put that freaking big hole there? Oh man. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. Scary. You get all the stuff off of you? Yeah. You didn't twist an ankle or anything? Uh, kinda. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna replay this. I was walking along trying to get the camera just right. And Everything's perfect. And then, boom, big hole. Man down. <laughs> Let's get the, all the stuff off the back. Oh, so, lesson learned. <laughs> Stop when you get the camera out. How's or, that? Yeah, or yeah. Watch, watch where your feet are. Yeah. Or have your wife watch where you are. Yeah. I took Mouse a tumble, I'll tell you what. You Hands are all dirty. Man alive. There goes watch. them pants that you're supposed to wear for four or five days. <laughs> you just want to see them dirty for the next four days. Whew, that was a... Whew. Scary. That scared me really bad. <laughs> it always scares you when somebody takes a tumble like One that. One of us tumbles. And you never know when you're going to break something or twist something or... That'd be the end of this trip, it wouldn't would it? would be. It'd be going we're, we're hoping to get to go for three months. Be more like 30 hours and we're <laughs> riding back home. And I, I went flying too. You did. Uh, you definitely got your foot caught in that hole. And... After you saw I'm okay, there's a lot of laughing going on. Yeah, it's, it's kind of. You hate to laugh at somebody when they fall, but yeah, he was thrashing. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He went by me in midair. <laughs> and I guess, I guess what he's trying to do is stop himself. So he's really. <laughs> <laughs> Arms and legs, <laughs> which way? Uh, it's sad. Yeah. I'm sorry. I laughed. My grandfather would have said I was ass over tea kettle. You were ass <laughs> over tea kettle for sure, but it's scary because it could have definitely could have could have hurt. Yeah, but why, why do we uh, laugh? <laughs> I always love watching that, like boat crashes, and why do people laugh when someone falls and, falls gets, and hurt. gets hurt? And Lynn always laughs and tells me, you shouldn't do that. And then as soon as she knew I was okay, boom, she was giggling and laughing and cutting up. And maybe it's the relief of knowing I'm okay. Yeah, maybe. We'll go with that. Okay. Let's uh, walk over to this boat ramp we uh, walked out here. Warmer days are coming soon, I know. To wash away this grin and all this snow. I want salt in the air, not salt on the road. It's been a long winter, and I'm tired of this cold. I'm gonna give away my gloves and my coat. Drive as far down the highway. Yeah.
been along with her And I'm tired of this cold I need to feel the sunshine Let it wash out my soul Yeah, I need to feel the sunshine Just to be whole